come in. Oh, how very nice to see you again. I didn't realize that you both, uh, shall we say, anticipated the ceremony. Won't you have one of my cigarettes? Yes, you're quite right. It isn't mine. To use a popular expression, I pinched it. You must come up and see my collection. Aren't you very afraid of the police? No, but I don't care to meet them socially. As a class, they bore me. You see, Miss Summers, I'm one of those people who, shall we say, live on their wits. My wits are very sharp. I advise you very strongly to think twice before cutting yourself on them. Of course, you're like all blackmailers. My dear Miss Summers, what a very ugly word. You've quite shocked me. You're like them all. One is only to stand firm and you're helpless. You're playing a game of bluff and you know it. Go on. If you don't clear out of this room in two minutes, with the promise that Frank will never see you again, I'll go out and ring up Scotland Yard. Go on. You've been to prison yourself once. I'm 25 years old, Miss Summers, and I've been to prison four or five times. I really can't remember which. You see, I'm a wrong and by nature. And I'm not really happy unless I'm up to what the governor used to call my tricks. And my father, a charming old gentleman, you'd have liked him enormously. Then I'll go to him. Well, unfortunately, you see, he's not accessible at the moment, owing to not having quite finished serving a life sentence. Won't you really, Smoke? Yeah. Now, look here, Mr. Blake. Yes? If I go to the police... Yes? ...and tell them that you're blackmailing Frank, Think what you've got to lose. I have nothing to lose. Thank you. 